when Trump is inaugurated as president of the United States. I hope one of the first things on his agenda is realigning the military, putting X amount of people that are in charge, whatever, and he does this thing called de-woke the military. That's what he needs to do. De-woke the military. Right? You don't need all them <laughs> all of that going on. Nah. Dewoke the military. Go back to what it was. You know? See, that's Obama. You know, Obama is all about that life. <laughs> yeah. He all about that life. You know? That's how the military got all woke and <laughs> all of that going all the way on in the military. <sighs> Tell you, I'm glad that when he put that in effect, in 2010, I was on the last year of my contract. And it was like, <sighs> deuces was out of there. Because I was not going to be sitting there. You got two dudes or two chicks. And they having a doggone couples issue. Me being their doggone first line supervisor. I got to go by their house and talk to them and try to find some form of resolution. What? Two dudes? What you, What am I supposed to tell him to do for him? I don't know what you should have to do in a situation like that. Same thing with the two women. What am I, well, what? Bring home some flowers and Cook a cook a little bit better meal or something. I don't know. It's like no, no, that is doggone foreign land to me, and I'm not trying to walk on that land. Forget that. So I'm like, please put together a whole doggone group of people. You know, from the whatever in the White House, whatever that position is in the White House, uh, that's over the military on down. Whatever Colin Powell's position was, the general of all of the whatever, the, from there on down, de-woke the military. That's what I want. De-woke the military. Jump on the rest of the stuff, but that'll make me happy. Deuces. <laughs>